Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. I'm pre-warning you, I'm still not feeling a little bit well, but I'm okay to do the video. Thank you so much for all your kind words and and um, wishes of getting well. <clears throat> I'm feeling a little bit better today. Um, I took a break yesterday. I was going to do the snippet video after my other video, but I kind of just wanted to go to rest and and it worked. So, um, I do want to wish beautiful blessings to, um, let's see, Charlotte Peterson, th 3417, beautiful blessings to you. Um, beautiful blessings to Cheryl Telephus and prayers, Cheryl, for Lindsay. Um, beautiful blessings to Present Rain and beautiful blessings to, I know there's more. I have one more here. Um, where is it? Beautiful blessings to Melody Fisher, 1512. Beautiful blessings to you. Let me set my timer and then we'll get right to it. Um, let me see. Come on, timer. Here we go. And start. Okay. So today we're going to be making a snip. Well, I, I make snippet rolls. Um, I do that on a long piece of a long piece of fabric you can do it however you'd like um, you can take paper and you can rip it I'll just show you here on this one like this and then you can take another strip of the paper this is brown paper bag and you can attach it oops, to each other, just like that, to make long strips so you can have them to use in your stash. Um, you can also do it on wider. Um, this is about one inch. I guess this is about one inch too. You can do it on wider pieces of fabric or longer pieces of fabric. You can do it on paper. You can do it on magazine pages. You can do it on junk mail. You can do it on copy paper. You can kind of do it anywhere, anywhere, on anything. All it really basically is, is your scraps glued down onto a base, as in a collage. So I have some papers, of course. I've been working with papers throughout the week. I think I'm gonna do it on this one. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save those for something else. Um, and just for demonstration purposes here, I will do. I will do one on here, and one on the paper, and then one long one. So we have something to look at when I'm done. I use Fabri-Tac glue. Um, the trick is Fabri-Tac glue is good for your I sew mine. So you don't have to sew yours. If you don't sew or you don't have a sewing machine, don't worry, you don't have to. You can also slow stitch on them. That's fun too. Um, but you don't have to sew them. I do sew them, so I use Fabri-Tac glue. If you, use, if, you, if you don't sew them, make sure that you glue your pieces down very well. Meaning having the whole back glued before you put it down. I normally don't. I just do a little tiny dot to make it stay so that I could take it to my sewing machine. So let's get started. Um, I use fabric and paper. This is all the stuff that I've been using these past few days in my videos for the little um, twisted paper pleasers. So we'll just get started. I'm going to actually, uh, let me see take some out here so I can kind of have them in front of me. Let me take some of my papers out. Hold on. That would be good. Some of my scraps. And, and, and this is just, just your scraps. So if you have scraps left over from a project, you're just going to use them. That's what I do. Uh, and they could be small. Small little scraps. Now, I still might sneeze, so if I if I have if I feel like I have to sneeze, I will pause the camera. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to get my glue down here like this. I'm not going to use these. These are good stuff. I like these little 
these little cards here. Okay, and we'll start with some paper. Um, and I just go and I rip them in pieces along the lines of um, the size of the base that I'm using. Let me, I'll go here, right here. And, and then if they run off to the side, you can either keep it that way or snip it. Here's some numbers. I'm just doing what's pleasing to my eye. Um, I may change and go over here. Normally I work with a few bases at one time so that I can just um, go where my eye is taking me. We need to start this one, huh? <laughs> Actually, I, I like the little, I like those little prongs and I want to be able to see something underneath it. So I'm gonna lift this up and just put that underneath it like that. Just the same as you would collaging on on paper um, for on a tag or a project or anything. It's the same way. I'm just kind of lifting that up so it could um, you could see it through those squares. Okay. And let's get going. I'm working in monotone colors here. I figured I'd do a batch of um, monotone snippet rolls. Um, these can be upside down. They don't have to be, they don't, the words don't have to go in the direction of you're reading them. So, um, you can put them any which way because when you cut them up and use them, in your work, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be, they're going to be, um, you know, put lengthwise so you can read them. They might be put, they might be put um, sideways. I do have some colors mixed in here, some pinks. And it's okay if you cover, if you cover up previous work, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It all has a tendency to metal together and look nice. So, do that there. And let's see. I have some pink here. Might as well use some more pink since I started with the pink there. I'll do it up here. I can do that. And then if you want, and you're making, you know, you're, you're making a few at a time, you can just take your three paces and go over to the other, to the other items. And then of course, you'll be able to use them in different places in your journal. So we'll put this here and it's just, um, tiny little pieces of scrap paper that I've been working with and I'm just making I'm just making a collage onto you know a smaller base that's really it this actually is some um, stenciled paste on paper I'm just putting that on there you can do that too and what else do I have <clears throat> I have some more paper here this is, and these are all just different colored pieces of paper. Um, just because we've been working with this the past few days and it's just pleasing to the eye. I think so. All these different pieces of paper with just a tiny pop of color. And then you can also just do it all in book page and then put your color on afterwards in um, with fabric. Or you can use digitals. Um, actually, I'm going to glue this on here first, like really good, <laughs> and then use a piece of it. Um, it's very thin paper, and I'm going to be sewing it, so I want, I want it to be sturdy. But I like the color. 
we'll just do a little bit more. There we go. I like that. Now, and don't be afraid to come up and down when you're working on something. Come back to it. Well, look, we haven't done anything on here yet. Let's put something down so there's something there. <laughs> so it doesn't feel left out. There we go. Can't leave you out, brown paper bag. <laughs> and you can use coffee dyed papers. You can use book pages. You can use graph paper. You can use digitals. You can use whatever you have on hand for your scraps. Whatever. Uh, let's see. We'll put this. Put that right there. I like that and then what I will do is um, after we're done with the collage part of it I'll go and I'll sew it on the sewing machine so you can see what it looks like we need some more I like this color and if you're working on paper base or fabric base whatever you're starting with you can choose how you want your pieces. They can be bigger or they can be smaller. I would say to do it in the small. I'm doing this a little bit big, but this is on a paper base and I won't be um I won't be folding it or anything like that. So, it's a little bit bigger the pieces. I won't be um rolling it. That's what I want to say. Not folding it. Here's a little number from a page. You can use that too. Right up there. Put that there. And then, what else? I have so many little pieces here. Okay, now let's put this down here. Like that. And again, I am only putting just a tiny bit on so it doesn't affect my needle in my sewing machine. And your base can be, you know, whatever you have on hand. Um, if you have fabric that has a print on it, you can use that too. <clears throat> You'll just see that from the back side of your, of your snippet roll. You see that in the back rather than it being this, um, this is muslin. Well, here's a piece of the buildings. Use that. That's pretty. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to um, pause the camera a second just so that I could use my tissue. Uh, give me one minute. Let me let me get this down. What else do I have here? I know I have more stuff. I have so much stuff. <laughs> oh. Here's this pretty piece of this German paper here that we were using yesterday. I like that. Let's put that down first. And then a piece of the building. I'm just making a little bit smaller so that I could see more of the words. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna pause for one minute. I'll be right back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'll be better soon, I just know it. I'm gonna use a piece of this on here. And don't be afraid to, um, you know, use them again. <clears throat> if you use, you can use more than, you know, the same piece more than a few times in your work. It's quite all right. And even small pieces, this is such a tiny little piece of music paper, but it makes a big, makes a big difference um, looking at it in, on a, on a small collage, you know, you can see it. You definitely can see it. And then I have these little things also. You know, of course I printed them out and cut them up, but don't be afraid to incorporate them in your work. You can do that. I keep getting stuck on the ribbon there. 
Don't worry, fabric. You're going to get your turn to shine. We're going to put some fabric on here, too. Okay. Let's keep going. And we can put a little piece over here, too, of this. Like that. Like that. That's good. Here we go. And I feel like the paper bag thinks it, it's neglected. <laughs> I'm neglecting it. Okay. So these are fun to use as tabs. You can use them as belly bands. You can basically use them any in any way. Tab toppers, belly bands, um, little tucks in the book. Um, what else? Tucks, um, page tabs. Page tabs are cute. Okay. Let me put this here. I'll put that there. This one's almost done. All right, and then put that here. What else? And I, I am working again. I'm working all in the monotone colors. And you can use, you know, real things too. This is real ledger paper. You Anything that you would be using in your junk journal, um, paper-wise, you can use on a zipper roll. And any fabrics that you have that you want to put a, a piece of here on here. And then also... Um, sometimes when I want a pop of something, like I have a surprise after this, so we're going to put a pop of something on here. Um, you can take, you can take, um, it when it's all done and put like an image. Um, let's just say you had a, well, I do bunny books. So a lot of times I don't have images of bunnies. Um, that I want unless they're a digital which of course they're plentiful but maybe let's say on fabric and what I do oh I don't want that there what I do is I take a stamp um, and I stamp onto muslim uh, of the bunny image that I would like incorporated in my work so you can stamp on pieces of fabric and then incorporate that in your work. Whatever image you'd like. If it's a butterfly, a flower, a letter, sometimes a number. Like we did, we stamped numbers for the little paper pleasers onto fabric. I don't know if I, I don't know if I have any. Oh, I do. Here. We'll put a piece down here. See? You could just put it anywhere. We'll put it right there. Why not? And it, you don't have to put the whole thing on. Although we'll try to get it on. We'll try to get the whole thing on. And don't be afraid. You can put it sideways too. You don't have to put it this way. You can put it this way. I don't know if I'm going to do that. Or maybe I will. Why not? Put it right there. Just like that. See? And that gives it more character. All right. We're almost done with this one here. How about how about a piece of this on here? And then these little pieces of ledger paper that are left over, you know, if you don't use them in your smaller things, you can also stamp on them and use them in your work. <clears throat> Don't throw those out. They're good stuff. Hmm. Well, I don't know who would throw away a piece of ledger paper from 1919. They're pretty silly if they would. <laughs> okay. And here's a tiny little piece of ledger paper. And we can just pop that right here. There's no rhyme or reason. If you like it, put it down. <laughs> okay. What else do I have here? I know I got more stuff. 
And then there's this paper with the lines in it. We can put that here so that you can see through. Now, it does have the, um, maybe I won't use that one. But I'll use this one. It doesn't have too much of it left on there. It has the um, stencil on the other side, but that's okay. We'll use this one right there. There we go. I'll just move this up. Let me see what else I have. If I have more, I have some of this paper too. It's pretty. This is the handmade, I mean, not handmade. It's the um, rag paper. <clears throat> you know, put it this way. Like that. There we go. And we don't have too much further left. Let me see what else I have. I'm going to dig a little deeper in my scraps here. Oh, you know, we didn't use a piece of this. Let's use a piece of this. Let's put a piece of this over here. And we'll put a piece over here. This is embossed paper. And I just embossed in my studio. Um, I'm trying to look. I have some of this left. We can use this. This is Manila on Manila. Um, it was an old receipt. And we can use a piece of it. Why not? And this one's done. Oh, it needs some fabric though. I'm stuck here. Okay. We'll put that up there. It's got to get some fabric. And then we're almost finished. Let's see. You could put some pieces with handwriting on it. That's cute too. Uh, like that. Oops. And if I have, I, I don't know, many, some of you follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a post where I sort through my papers to do my snippet rolls. If I have a lot of scraps, before I start my snippet rolls, I take them and I sort them um, in color because, because of the fact that I coordinate my colors. My brain just works that way. So, of course, this is easier right now because it's kind of all monotone colors and more like a, um, a French type of a theme. Um, it's very simple to, well, for me, it seems very simple because I'm just putting things down. It's more of a monotone feel. But when I use colors, and different patterns of paper and fabric and things like that it does take me quite a bit longer to put them down on paper so don't feel that you're not you know you're not doing it well if it's taking you longer or things like that because uh, this is very monotone and i would suggest to start oh these bugs those go over there <laughs> Those Jezebel bugs. Um, I, they're like ladybugs, but worse. I would suggest to start with monotone if you are making this kind of thing because it's easy. It's easier than going with color if you're just starting out. And if you're not just starting out, go crazy. <laughs> go cray cray. It's fun. It's very fun. We'll use a piece of this. And let's see. We'll put this down here like that. We'll just fold this over. Like that. Put this down. 
I'm going to just using a tiny bit of glue just to tack it because of the fact that I'm going to be sewing it. Again, I know I keep saying that. I'm sorry. I just reminded you. If you are going to, um, you know, not sew it, make sure you tack it down all the way. I would use maybe a glue stick. I'm trying to see what else I have here. Some other letter. Let's see. Can do that. And you don't have to use the whole image. You can just use a part of it. And I'm making this on the side like that. And that's another thing I do. Um, whatever, whatever the rip side is that I want to see, normally I keep that up top. This side down here on the bottom, I'm not so concerned about it. Because then with my next move, I'm going to be covering it, most likely, like that. So I, I work that way, and it's just quicker. Quicker. And what else? Um, let's make, let's do this. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. How about a piece of dark, dark typing? dark typing paper. That looks pretty cool. And again, these are all the same things that I've had on my desk for the past few days. So it's nothing new. I didn't take out anything new at all. Although <laughs> I could probably work with all of these scraps for <laughs> a long time making things. And we'll end it with a piece of, new, uh, piece of music sheet. And then we'll finish this one over here. And then I'll show you my little, my little thought. Okay, so see? Now, if you missed places, it's okay. Go back with the piece of um, something that you just were working on and tack it down. It doesn't really, it doesn't really quite matter because you could tack it down with paper or fabric. All right, so that one's completed, although there's a spot there, so we'll get we'll get a piece of music sheet in there. And this one, just like that. That's good. And okay, so we're gonna put this off to the side for one second. It actually has got to dry too before I can put it through the sewing machine. And let's see, we'll use, we were using bigger sheets over here. It's just a quicker way to um, make your little collage. Mm -hmm. Whoops. And let, you can even leave part of the brown paper bag showing through. If you use brown paper bag, give it a, it gives it a little look. We can put that there. Like that. And then we need something up there. What do I have here? How about piece of wood I leave this all monotone so I won't even well actually how about another piece of this because it's down here and I kind of didn't want to cover that up so much so I just took a little piece off I like the color <laughs> this is like um, a mint green I'll just glue this on here like that and then I will fold it over and rip it off. Oops. Okay. There we go. I will go ahead and cover that bottom, this bottom up down here. I'm going to use a little piece. Whoops. Okay, that's good. 
<laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to take a sip of I have my electrolytes here. <laughs> okay. It tastes so yummy. Um, I'm looking for my scissors. I don't know what I do with them. Oh, where are all my scissors? I, all right, there's a pair. Okay, so see how you can you can clean all this up after you can put it through your you can put it through your um, chomper clean up all the edges or you can leave them doesn't really matter all right now here's my surprise <laughs> um we have this here like that and and this is all the stuff that I've just I've been working with and we have this here this one I figured let's do some Valentine's snippets. So I have my um, piece of velvet, my big piece of velvet, and I'm thinking I'm going to do some little hearts on here. And I'm going to try, we're going to try it just to see, <laughs> and cut the pieces out. So just like we were in school, exact same way we were in school. I'm going to see if I can do this now. I hope that I can. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna freehand cut a little heart or hearts out of the fabric. And you can do this with any fabric. Oh, how cute. So we'll do one there. And oh, look, we can even use the silhouette. Why not? Just clean it up just a tiny bit. Um, hmm. There. And there. That looks cute. It could be a big mark. I don't know. I'm going to see in one minute. <laughs> I like that, but I might not like it on here. I'm gonna keep it, maybe I'll use it for a different project. Let me just make some more hearts here because I think they're cute. And you know, Valentine's Day is coming. And again, you don't have to use the red um, velvet. You can use them, make any kind of, use any kind of um, fabric to make your hearts. Let's see. After this, maybe I'll do something in white. Hold on, I'll check it. And then of course, if they don't come out right, you can redo it. Let me see, I need to make this just a tiny bit. Aw, how cute. Okay, this one's my favorite. <laughs> I'd have to really, try and sit there and make more all right let's try it with some ticking um, maybe we won't use all the um all the red hearts maybe we'll do some in ticking this was just my thought and it's also just stuff i've had and i've been working with it on my desk so why not try to use some of it? It's much easier to cut out of um, thinner fabric, of course. Oh, it looks pretty. Um, let me do the heart down here. I don't know. I think I'm going to save... I might save this for something else. And... I don't really care for this heart, but maybe we'll just do it right there. Okay, let's see if we like the ticking heart. No, I'll save that for another project. Um, let me see. How about a piece of plain fabric? 
And of course, you, you guys could take your time and <laughs> and um, cut out the hearts. They might not might not even work. I may not even like them so much. I just thought it would be cute. Okay, let's take a look. That's cute. My cutting skills are not that great. <clears throat> it was the idea that counted. <laughs> let's do it this way. Whoops, it keeps unfolding. All right, Ooh, I like that one. So I like them layered, <clears throat> but maybe, would it be better if I didn't fold the fabric in half? Let's see, I don't know. I'm liking it, but I don't like it per se. Oh, maybe. Maybe it would be better if I didn't. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's cute. I like that. All right, let me get rid of this red. <clears throat> I have all red from the velvet all over my desk. Maybe we'll just do one on there. That's cute. And... Um, I'm liking this heart the best. I think I'm going to use that one. I'll save this for another project. And I like this one. I just wanted it just a tiny bit thinner. <clears throat> Not so wide. For this one. Let's see if I can get it. Okay. That's good. It's a red and a blue, and maybe we'll do a polka dot. And we'll save that one. We'll save that one. I'm very particular. <laughs> we'll do. Well, we don't even have to do any more hearts, really. We can just do some scraps of fabric. How's that? And we can just put them anywhere. Right there. We'll do a dot of it. And let's see. Do I want these here? I think I'm going to. For Valentine's. All right, here. No, I will make it go the opposite direction. Okay, and this one we'll just put straight up. All right, let's see. And we'll do some more fabrics to keep it cohesive. <laughs> Some more on here. I need to have all these strings. And then, you know, you don't have to keep a theme either. You definitely don't. You could go cray cray and do whatever colors and fabrics you want. So each section is different. Okay. And what else? And how about some lace? Um, let me do some lace.
and then um, what else? I have. I want to keep with the same theme, so I'll do just another piece of ticking down here, like that. Okay. All right, so here we have this one. We did some hearts for Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll do one more heart. I'm gonna pause the camera and let this dry. I'm just gonna cut out one more heart. This one doesn't have anything on it. Maybe we'll just put a piece of fabric on there at the bottom. And I'm gonna let, the, let it dry and then um, sew them and then I'll come back and show you. Oh, I have so much on the my glue tip. Ay, ay, ay. So there, I put a piece of fabric on there. And then we'll do this little we'll, we'll do this little heart on here. Like that. There we go. That could be a bookmark or a belly band. And should I do anything else? I think we're good. I think so. About a little piece of polka dot on there. Like that. That looks good. That looks cute. I like it. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry, sew them together, and then I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I went ahead and sewed it together, and this is the end result with all the little papers and the hearts on there. Again, just remember, you don't have to sew it if you don't have a sewing machine. Just make sure you glue everything down in its place. And that's a snippet roll, um, meaning um, that you can roll it. You can, you know, preserve it and roll it on something. Um, I do roll them on a spool. Let's see if I have any. I don't have any here in front of me, but if you have a spool, you can roll it on there and just keep it up in your craft room and take a look at it every day, admire your work, and then you can go and take snippets off it whenever you want to use it in your work. And then here is the um, little wider one that we did, which can be a bookmark. Um, I did go ahead and trim around this, but I will show you what I did. I just turned it over on the back side and I trimmed off the excess paper like so, and just trying to just, I just try to make it even. Okay, and then I'm trimming off the excess uh, threads. And there we go. And there's that piece. And then you can go ahead and just cut pieces off, I mean, let me see. If I was going to use this in my work, um, here's a tag here. You can just put it at the top as a tag topper. That looks pretty cute. And then you can sew it on. Um, you can take a journal. Here. What do we have? Oh, you can even put it on a paper placer. Ooh, that would be cute. If you put something on there like that. And then you can take it in, well, it's this one, that's Christmassy. Um, oh, here. I have this one here. You can go in and open this up. And, I mean, you can attach the whole thing there if you wanted to. Um, you can make a, a little belly band and tuck things in. You can do it in the center of the page. Maybe attach it with some brads there and tuck things in there. Or you can even take it and use it as a tab on the side here. You can cut a piece, here, let's do that. You can cut a piece off, like so. And then you can glue it on the paper. Like that. And where did I cut it? right here and we can just put it right there as a little page tab 
like that. But then also, it will stick out of the book as well. I probably should have, here, yeah. let's undo the other side because um, I want it to be pretty on the other side too. So why not? We'll just back it. That's all. Do I want that piece? Hey, stay. The glue's not dry yet. All right. And we'll just take this piece and we'll back it right on that side, like that. So that it's pretty sticking out of your book. Now, if you're working on a um, if you're working on a journal, you don't have to use the snippet roll as the back side. You can you can use um, a label or something. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. But it also looks pretty. <laughs> okay, now we'll fold it back up. And there we go. It's sticking out the side and on both sides. It looks pretty. I like it. So that's the snippet roll. And it's really just to use up your scraps. And here's another piece. This was on the, the um, paper bag. <laughs> and I'm just going to trim off the excess string. And then you can use this anywhere in your work, too. And, of course, this was on the fabric, and this was on the paper bag, on paper. And this was also on the fabric, but it was a long, long roll. Oh, I did, when I turned the camera off, I added some stamps into here so they weren't, so that it kind of had something everywhere. And you can add stamps, too. But... Thank you so much for watching and hope I've inspired you too to make snippet rolls or to use your scraps up in a different way. And aren't these just fun? Just make some hearts and put them on things and you can have stuff for Valentine's Day too. Um, I'll see you guys again soon. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to make another video this week. Well, in a, tomorrow. Tom today's, today's Tuesday. Um... I may skip tomorrow and then I'll do some videos, but I'll upload them on Thursday and Friday unless I'm feeling better. If I'm feeling better, I'll, I'll go in and upload them into town. I just don't, uh, I don't mind staying home and making the videos, you know, I'm in my PJs, <laughs> but driving into town, I don't know if I want to do that. So I'll see how I feel and um, until then, happy crafting. I'll see you guys again soon. Uh, if you're not following me, Give me a follow and like my video. Say hello. I give you blessings. Go and check me out on Instagram as well as Facebook and TikTok. I do run a lot of accounts, you know. I run um, I run my, my own personal accounts and then I run my private accounts. And then I also run um, my son's accounts, you know. Because in, in the music world, I'm known as Luya's mom, just so you know. <laughs> I have accounts that are Luya's mom as well. Um, but... If you guys um, want to check out my other pages, feel free to do so. I also have an Etsy account where I have some things that you can purchase for your um, crafting. I have crafting supplies and digitals. And thank you again so much for watching and have a beautiful blessed day. Bye my little crafting buddies. I'll see you guys again soon.